Hey everyone, this is Pete with Chatter, and today we're gonna to be doing a demo of our machine connectivity platform. So let's dive right in. We'll start here on the login screen. Uh, this is where you log in. This is accessible from any uh, computer or mobile device. And uh, we're just gonna log in and get greeted with this uh, nice friendly dashboard. So this is sort of the overall view of your shop that you'd have maybe up on a TV or in the shop, in the office, or maybe on a side screen in your computer. And this just shows you across the top your uh, stats for the day, the amount of time the machines have been active or being set up, and the uh, machine hours, think of those as like man hours, right? Um, as well as some handy charts here uh, on your productivity both today and historically. And then on the right, we have a list of our recent alarms. So anything that's active shows up in red so you can see it and resolve it. Once it's been resolved, automatically uh, turns to gray. Uh, moving down the page, we have a list of all our machines. So we can sort of see an overview of every machine um, that's registered to our account right here. And uh, basically if it's active or idle or alarmed out, and then if we click it, we can kind of get a little bit more zoomed in view of it. So we can see on the right uh, some live information. So like specifically, what's this machine doing? It's in this mode, this program. Here's the spindle speed, the amount of parts, the goal. And then you can see that machine stats for the day, like active loading, and then sort of a timeline so we can see historically, okay, it's been running, and then you know, it was stalled out, got running again, uh, then it was being set up um, all the way up until now. So this is just sort of your overview page uh, where you can see your whole shop at a glance, but we can also zoom in on a machine. Um, so let's do that here. I'm gonna select this Puma. And this is sort of the screen that you would have up at a computer uh, that's next to the machine or maybe a tablet the operator can see. And the idea is uh, sort of to, to give the operator almost superpowers a little bit. Like they can see these things like, like the timing of cycles and the tool life all at a glance. Um, through the eyes a little bit of somebody who's actually managing the shop uh, rather than just you know blindly loading parts. <laughs> so let's go through this. At the top we've got our live information, we have parts, part goal, um, and then on the right we have this like sort of little scoreboard I guess um, where you can see the cycle time of each part, the amount of time it's taken to load, the amount of time that's remaining on the production, um, and then when this is expected to complete. So in this case, we have uh, just under 12 hours remaining on this, and it's gonna be complete on June 3rd. Below that, we have just a log um, of what this machine has been up to throughout the day. So we can just see at a glance uh, what it's been working on, and now it's working on this demo part. Up here, we've got our tool life management. Now in Shatter, um, we do all the tool life management up actually in the cloud. And the reason behind this is, you know, different controls. Let's say you're on a FANUC or a Haas. Um, you have a different interface. Often, you know, an operator has to learn it on this machine or that machine. They're messing around, you know, near the offsets. You fat finger something, uh, you're not in a good spot. So with Chatter, uh, we move that all up and, and do it based on cycles. So we know this tool here, for example, um, is gonna last 1200 cycles and it's run uh, just over a thousand cycles. So based on the information Chatter has collected and predicted, we can see, all right, this tool is gonna need to be replaced at, tomorrow at 4.11 p.m. So we make that super simple. Uh, you can sort it by you know, how many cycles, or just in this case, the default sort is by next replacement. So anything that needs to be replaced next is gonna be at the top and, and you can account for that. The idea is to just make these transitions smooth, right? Like you wanna know about a tool breaking before it happens. So if we have that prediction, we say, all right, yeah, tomorrow we're gonna need this. Uh, so let's make sure we have it on the cart or you know, next to the operator and he can just swap it out real quick. And then we make it super simple to reset. All you have to do when you uh, restart that tool is you just hit reset counter. It logs that that tool was reset. And then, um, like you see here, put the cycles back down to zero, and then now it's gonna be good till June 10th on this job. Uh, we also have uh, different jobs that you can select. So you, you can link tools to a machine or to a job. So in here I can do select job, and I can pull up um, you know, a job that's got some tools uh, associated to it, but for now we're just gonna leave that where it is. The last thing on this page is just our message log. Uh, this is just what the machine has been doing. Uh, if any alarms happen or the machine goes idle, you'll see that's popped up here. Uh, but for this one, it's been running consistently, which is what you want in a shop. So it just says a bunch of cycle completes. Uh, so that's great. So moving on from this machine view, uh, let's hop over into the calendar. Now, one thing I should say is there is a full um, you know, walkthrough video on this if you wanna get more in depth with it, but I'll give the basic overview. So the way we do our scheduling in Chatter is it's by machine. So you see on our left, we have all our different machines, and then we have two views. So this is the calendar view, this is linear. We schedule out our days, right? Um, we have some jobs that can run lights out. You can plan that accordingly. 
and then you throw them on there and it basically has you know what's happened in history what's happening now and then what's happening uh, for the future when things need to be set up now all these things can also be seen in the kanban view which is sort of a nice uh, way to to tackle this uh, since shops are really queue based right you have a, a queue of work and then you want it to get scheduled out it's going to take a certain amount of time and then it goes active and completed. So Chatter manages all that for you. So let's say we have a new um, job, or here, let me just delete this thing off here. Uh, let's just say we have a new job that we wanna add. We're gonna pull that up out of our job manager. Um, and let's just pull up this job here. If you want, you can also add tools to these. So those will come into the tool life management, but we'll just add this right here. And we'll say, all right, you know, it's gonna take a few hours and take a couple hours to set up. Automatically puts that setup in there and schedules it next up in your queue. And we can see that that just added right here. Now, there's some other cool stuff we can do here like add uh, maintenances or, or something like that. Um, we can also extend days out if we want them to uh, last for longer and it automatically handles that updating of the schedule so that everything's squared out. And you can even reorder jobs. So if we want on the Kanban to run this job first because it's higher priority, uh, Chatter will handle all of that. You just have to drag and drop. So we make it super simple. So that's sort of the basics of our uh, calendar. Next up, we have reporting. So the chatter reports are sort of that classic report that you expect, like the wall of text on white. You could export it as a CSV if you like. So I'm gonna run, um, we have a few types, but I'll run a spindle utilization report on here uh, for these three machines uh, over the course of this past week. All right, so our report came up and then we can see sort of those four you know, uh, states, uh, so to speak, that a machine can be in, active, loading, set up, stalled over the past week, day by day. And total for each machine, you can print this out, you can export it, you can email it, you can put in a CSV to Excel. Um, we kind of leave that up to you, but this is just your classic reporting. And then of course, the last thing on here to go over is notifications. How do we do that? Well, we make it super simple. If you go to your settings, uh, you'll be able to pull up your profile and you can just put a phone number in there. Um, and that will start sending you text messages. On the right, you can choose what sort of uh, notifications you want. So on this, uh, we wanna know about alarms by default, the rest we don't really need to know, company-wide. Um, and then sometimes you might wanna like mute a keyword. There, we have other videos on this, but um, like let's say like a door open, alarm keeps coming through, you don't want that, you can just say, hey, don't text me about this. So that's that. And then you can also set this on a per machine basis. So let's go down here. Um, and I'm just gonna pick up this uh, end shoe here, right? So this is where you set your IP and everything and then Chatter automatically synchronizes with your settings that are here, whether you're running the Chatter desktop connector or the Chatter box device. Um, you can set uh, specific notifications for a machine too. So let's say, uh, you know, this machine, it's supposed to be running all the time, right? I want to uh, know that I'm getting a, a notification whenever it's uh, idle for three minutes and, and I can just override the default setup. So then that applies to this machine or I can leave it at the default settings. You can also customize your macros. So you can do macro bindings. Let's say we wanna send custom data or we have, if we have data that we're storing on a macro, we wanna send it to Chatter. You can do that right here and customize what shows up uh, in your interface. And then the last thing on here that I'll show is the diagnostics page. Um, so at Chatter, we are all about simplicity. We wanna make it super simple for our customers to get set up and get running. Uh, typically, you know, the, the world of quote unquote industry 4.0 is just such a pain um, and we make it super simple. So we have our two ways. We have the Chatterbox hardware, which is included with the subscription, or we have the uh, desktop connector, which you simply just download. So this shows the flow of data, right? You've got your machine on the network. In this case, we're using a Chatterbox. It's coming up to Chatter. It's getting these data types. We can see a raw stream of data, which is just a bunch of uh, spindle speed moving around here. And then we have our utility functions. So if we wanna remotely power cycle it or dump the logs or restart it, uh, we have all that right here. So that's the basics of Chatter. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you wanna get set up, go to our site. You can download a free trial. It usually takes about five to 10 minutes to get set up and uh, let us know what you think. Thanks for watching.